Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Monks channel. Today we're building the Gundam Shroud Ritter. Okay, this is the closest pronouncement that I can ever make. I this took me the first try now. That's not the point. So this is from the manga series, the Gundam Bill Fighters Amazing Ready, and it's piloted by the Masker Mars Second G. Uh, yep, I don't know who he is. <laughs> I haven't watched the manga. I maybe I should probably catch up about that. But you know, at the side we got some description. You know, we got the uh, other suit information as well. We got some action here that uh, talk about it. And when we open it, we'll see uh, one back, two back, uh, three back, four back, and a instruction book that talks about the pilot and the suit. And the suit is customized be by the Cathedral Gundam. If you don't know, I reviewed this uh, Gunpla before. You can go check it out. And you know, just quickly flick through the instruction. And you know, I'm just gonna start uh, showing the runners. So we got the that's the D runner. It's uh, all black. I believe this is the torso part mostly. We got the A part here, which got some open hand. We got some uh, inner joints as well. We got um, some ankle joint as well. That's the F runner. Uh, it contains some torso part and some head parts. And that's the that which runner was that? That's the J one runner. We got some blind gold and some black and some gray here. We got a clear piece for the head, I believe. We got the E part, waist. It's mainly waist part, and we got a Gundam face part as well. Then we got the J2 part, blind gold, and some gray and some black runners, and uh, I'm not sure which part's for. Then we got the, then we got the C part, completely blind gold. Wow, this is gonna take a lot of recoloring. Then we got the G parts, which is the back waist, the uh, backpack, I believe, and some waist joint and some inner frame as well. And then lastly, we got this B runner painted in whole black. I believe this is the side skirt and the outside armor of the mobile suit. Well, and we also got some, uh, we got stickers and polycaps down at the below. And you know, I will see you at the review.
let's jump straight to the review. So this is the finishing of the Gundam Swords Ritter, and uh, as you can see, it's a pretty much it's look like a warrior design, more look like on the mobile suit. The mobile suit doesn't have any guns; it's mainly a close combat uh, mo uh, use type. And if you're wondering uh, why the gold looks so different, uh, yeah, because you, if you've been following my channel, you know that I never, I could never stand against bland gold. That's why I painted into metallic gold. And you know, I really like the, I really like the overall design because it looks really good when it came out, and I really like it. It, it it's pretty good, I actually think. But that's just a couple things that need to be fixed. But I will do. I will say it at the end of the video or during the review. Well, but anyway, I'm gonna jump start with the review. As usual, we'll start with the head. The head can go up, can go down, can go uh, can go 360. If we tilt up, can go 360. It's a pretty good movement though, actually. And I would like to say the. Uh, I like the design of the goggles on the head. Is it actually? I pretty think that was a pretty good design. Starting with the hand, uh, the hand itself can bend uh, 360. It also can twist uh, 360 as well. It also could have a really good bending angle here. Actually, it can have a pretty good bend bending angle on the hand. The hand could lift up about that far. Maximum this far. The waist can go front, back, front, back for about uh, 50 degrees. It also could achieve a 360 turn and it can go to the side about 30 degrees as well. The waist itself, I have some problem about it. It couldn't really lift up. It It is sort of just moved to the front so it's not doing anything else. Uh, the back skirt, uh, the back skirt armor actually moved up more, even more than the front skirt so I'm not sure about that. Uh, you know, it, during the front skirt couldn't really move too much. It, kind of have a problem on moving it but uh, not to the side to the side is probably about 40 degrees as well uh, you know the legs uh, is uh, double joint so it can bend pretty far as well it can bend about uh, it can bend this far all the way up to the waist ah. and also the uh, and also the legs got a side piece here is an individual part that you can move around with for the backpack itself we can move around move about 90 degrees the wings itself can move about a little it's about uh, 130 120 degrees so uh, it's a really good movement on the wings and also the wings can be separated as well you just need to use a bit force to kind of rip it out you can separate as well the rings the accessories other than the uh, fist hand that I put it on on the mobile suit uh, we got the open hand the uh, layout flat hand and we got the weapon holding hand below uh, you can switch around uh, uh, between this hand to make any pose you can also plug off the back part and connect it with a piece of blade or there's another option you can either take off one side of the wing and connect it with the handle before and become a individual sword that you can hold on each hand or there's a special piece of handle that uh, been given in the model kit that you can put on both of the sword to create a gigantic sword like this. Uh, it it actually kind of reminds me the design of the Gundam Blue Ring uh, Second L, the large sword. But except this this one doesn't have a uh, what what's that called? It uh, doesn't have the a uh, Gatling gun in it. But I still think this sword is a really good design. I like it. Alright, so let's put an end to this review. Definitely recommend you buy it, really liking it, and recommend you to spray the gold, otherwise it would look terrible with the blind gold. And I really like the color theme, black and gold. It looks really good, liking it. And I, I really like the head as well. The head got a special goggle on it, which makes him look like more like an assassin style. Really liking it. But uh, a couple things I need to complain. The knee cap here have a sticker on it. Really unnecessary. Don't even know why you need it. And also, and also, I really think I don't know why the waist or these the, the legs couldn't spread out too too wide. And which is a it, it, it kind of borders me actually. And but but anyway, I like the design. I like this gigantic sword design, especially liking this one. I like the idea you can combine it or you can separate it really good feature on it. It reminds me, as I said, it reminds me of the Astray Blue Frame 2nd L. I really liking it. 
I like that suit as well. I will be with it later, by the way. <laughs> and anyway, <laughs> recommend you to buy it. Buy one, go one, have have fun with it. And you know, I'll see you next time with a gamble review or a honest talk. Be sure to follow my Instagram to have the latest update of my channel. And I will see you later. Goodbye.